Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about uh, the, the trailer for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 2 and talk about specifically what we saw and that is Sophia's return and Carol's reaction to that. Obviously it's not a real scene or it's not like happening in reality, it's more of a hallucination or like a dream sequence or something like that, but I really wanted to talk about it because there's going to be some other cameos that do actually happen this season and I think a lot of it is going to be related to Carol and I think we're going to see very specific characters you know, I guess associated with Carol throughout the years, actually make a return this season like Ed. I really do believe that we're probably going to get a flashback, like literally going back to like before the apocalypse or maybe when the apocalypse first started where we see Carol, Ed and Sophia together. Although you probably would have to go with a couple of years before that because the actress who played Sophia back then obviously got a lot older because that was filmed. When was that filmed? In 2011 or something, right? It's been like a really long time. So if you're going to recast that part, you might actually have to go back like, like three or four years before the apocalypse started and just focus on Carol's life, like just what it was like back then and stuff that she went through. Because we know this season is going to be focused a lot on, you know, the trauma that she went through and which she'll try to conquer that obviously and and just deal with you know some of the stuff that she went through and i think this is going to be a very emotional story here for carol and it is very exciting because obviously just the cameos in general and i think more specifically learning more about carol i think after seeing carol for so long you know i think as fans you're like well you know we kind of know everything about her but it would be cool if you could just sort of you know introduce new things about these characters so that you know the characters feel a little bit newer and like oh i never knew that about that character kind of thing right and, and you just sort of learn more and more about these characters and so yeah we're going to be getting all of that here in uh daryl dixon season two which is premiering in 64 days i believe as of uh recording this video right now it's 64 days away and again i've always said as soon as you get to the 50 day mark the rest of the days fly right by like it, it is so so fast and so we're not quite there yet but it does kind of make sense like in two weeks from now, which would be like what I guess August 9th or August 10th exactly would be two weeks from now. I mean, yeah, once it's August 10th, you know, we're going into like mid August. And at that point, it's going to feel like it's about a little over a month away. And that's when they're going to start promoting it a lot. So definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk Dead content whenever there's new updates and all of that. Like they're going to start promoting the show now a lot more. It's not going to be as quiet as it's been. It's really just going to start to pick up now every single day as we sort of move forward here. I do think for the weekend it's probably gonna be quiet but next week obviously there's gonna be just a lot more promo in terms of just the season in general right and we're just gonna keep building and building until the premiere of daryl dixon season two so talking about the trailer specifically for daryl dixon season two at the very end of the trailer we do see carol i guess react to somebody coming out of the barn now obviously we know that this is a very iconic shot in the walking dead universe right like we all know that this is like the shot from season two where everyone was wondering like where is sophia and it's finally revealed after shane just goes absolutely nuts and kills all the zombies in the barn or sorry walkers in the barn uh herschel's so upset you know it's a very chaotic scene rick is just so stressed out and he's just like okay now we're gonna be forced to leave like there's no way we can stay now and just the entire story that was built up all season long of like where's sophia we're at the farm here maybe she'll show up and everyone going out to look for her and everything really revolving around this one storyline and specifically this one character she walks out as a zombie or i guess walker and carol is just absolutely destroyed and before that you know you really started this bond between uh daryl and carol with the cherokee rose scene and in this moment here obviously daryl was there for carol and this really was the start of like i would say what the spinoff eventually became and so going back to this moment right here to see sophia walking out of the barn and to see Carol actually seeing her, I really cannot wait for this scene because I think that that's the one thing when I really look back at Carol's story throughout The Walking Dead. Like, I'm not going to say they did it wrong or they, or they did the story poorly because they didn't at all. Like, Carol's overall story after this, you know, first she was really heartbroken, this and that, but then eventually she was just like, you know, everyone loses someone in, in the apocalypse. Like, it happens to everybody. And she just got so strong about it. And I feel like she ignored a lot of how she was really feeling a lot because she became became like a really strong character in season five episode one she literally saved everybody and it just kind of you know it went from there going to alexandria and season six and she learned a lot of skills and she became like one of the best like apocalyptic survivors like on the show right i think some stuff came back obviously after henry's death and then eventually you know some of the stuff with lydia but some of the focus on sophia and some of the you know her early life i guess before the apocalypse and also just kind of throughout the first season or two there 
you know, we haven't really focused a lot on that. And again, it's not like it's The Walking Dead's fault. There were so many characters. That's why a spinoff like this is perfect, because you can actually go back and tell those stories properly, right? Like, you couldn't do that back then. You had Rick, you had Shane, Laurie, you had all that drama. Like, you had the whole thing with Herschel, you know, happening at that point, and then the governor shows up. Like, there was so much going on at that point that like, you couldn't really focus on every character and have them have, like, this big storyline. So it's exciting because finally we're going to get that here. And Sophia's return here, you know, walking out of the barn and having this be like a hallucination scene, or I'm not entirely sure what the scene is, is going to represent. I don't know what the context is here, but Carol seeing Sophia, I mean, obviously, I mean, you can see in this shot right here, like she looks absolutely horrified. And you can tell that this is probably the same shot just based off of her jacket here. Like, it just makes sense. Like, she's sort of looking down a little bit. So I think that she is looking at Sophia. And I think that she's just absolutely like, I can't believe that's you. Why am I seeing you right now? And I don't know if this is a dream sequence or maybe, you know, she's trying to find Daryl. She's just out there, you know, looking for her. any clue that he's actually out there. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if this is the same shed in which we see Carol and the new character, Ash, open up that door and I guess there's probably a map there to you know how to get to Spain or France and they're trying to figure out you know maybe we'll use a plane to get there I wonder if Ash is actually walking up to the door here maybe there were some walkers out there and they had to clear all the walkers and so Carol you know just before she's about to walk into the shed here she just looks at the door I guess somewhat opening up and then she has like this like hallucination just sort of moment or or, or whatever of uh, Sophia walking out and it could be a very very fast scene and then all of a sudden Sophia is like uh, gone she completely disappears and then Ash is like are you all right and she's just like um yeah kind of thing right and this could be the introduction to her you know starting to relive a lot of her past and you know, the fact that Daryl's missing, what that's causing, you know, within her and really seeing Carol's just full backstory, you know, just fully told for the first time here on the show. I'm really excited about this storyline. And I think that this is episode one, because I think by the time they reunite in season two or season three or season two or three in episode two or three, Carol, like she's going to have this jacket, but I do think she does have an outfit change because if you look at the very final shot in the trailer, Carol's wearing like a green sweater. And I think this is already after they've reunited because Carol's reaction when she walks up to Daryl isn't like, you know, she's running up to him like surprise kind of thing, right? Like she's just walking up to him pretty casually. So I think that Daryl and Carol already know that, you know, they're both together in France here. So I think that in episode one and probably episode two, that's where Carol wears this jacket. And so this jacket right here, we see her wearing it in the scene with Sophia. I think that this is before she leaves the friends. And so we'll see this moment happen within the first like 20 minutes of the episode. I don't know for sure, but that's sort of my prediction as of now, because because the showrunner did say that we are going to be getting more cameos and whatnot this season. Right. So I'm, I'm excited just for what that means. I mean, I think Sophia, obviously, that's one of the cameos that we have now. Right. Like that's confirmed. But I want like again, because this is probably just like reused footage from season two. I want to see if they actually bring the actor who played Ed in season one back to this show. It, like, if Ed actually shows back up, that would be absolutely incredible. Like, obviously, the character, I'm not a fan of the character, like, just the, the person that he is, obviously, he's, like, a villain on the show, but in terms of seeing the actor coming back to play Ed again, I think would be, like, just crazy, like, crazy nostalgic. And so, yeah, I mean, I thought the trailer yesterday was really incredible. It seems like everyone's response to it was basically that as well. I think a lot of people really enjoyed that trailer. For a little bit, I was like, you know what? I think I might have liked the, the Dead City trailer a little bit more. At least that was the feeling I had while I was watching the trailer. And then all of a sudden, as soon as we got to like the second half of the trailer, I was like, never mind, because the Varian Walker stuff was crazy. You know, the glow in the dark walkers and all that was a lot of fun. And that's what I'm going to focus on next in my, in my next videos. I do want to talk more about the, the Variant Walkers because it seems like they are going to be a... Uh, a big focus here for season two and i and i think they are going to be focusing a lot on this you know i think for pretty much every season going forward because of what nicotero said specifically about these walkers which is like wanting to change the rules and stuff of i guess basically survival right like you don't want it to be just you know what it's been like for the last however long like if you have these variant walkers out there I mean, the rules of how you survive are going to change a lot because these walkers can basically climb walls or destroy doors so easily, right? Like, like it's going to be absolutely insane. And also, I don't know if they can climb walls, but I'm just assuming that, like, if you have a bunch of them running at a door or a wall, like, they're going to be able to break that down a lot easier. And, you know, they're going to be able to climb things a bit faster. Like, I don't know exactly the abilities of these walkers yet. We only really saw 
that one walker or technically two in that one scene and also just what we got here in the trailer so yeah i want to talk about that i'll go into it more in depth in my next video because season two is going to be absolutely insane with these new walkers and you just got to wonder what they're going to do for season three right because for season three you're gonna to have to increase it a little bit i'm okay if like in season three they don't necessarily increase the stakes with the walkers you know like maybe just have it where they're, they're the same type of walkers but something more specific with them happens in terms of like the story right this way you don't have to constantly advance the walkers like season to season because eventually there's going to be a moment where you're like well we can't do this anymore right so yeah i'm just hoping that they actually become a bigger part of the story because the variant walker was more there because it was like a cool scene but i actually wanted to be a big part of the story here in season two so yeah anyways i hope you guys all enjoyed the video make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walking to content like this and i'll see you in the next one